hey friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to my weed infested flower bed <laughs> so in today's video we're going to be tackling some yard work and then we'll be heading inside to tackle my house which is a hot mess express as well i have really been falling behind on housework these days trying to juggle all the things so I'm going to take you along with me. We're going to tackle it. If you're in the same boat, I hope you put me on and clean along with me. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I am a stay at home mom to four. I have two girls and two boys and I love sharing cleaning motivation every single week. So if you enjoy cleaning content, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. But as you can see, we're starting off in the biggest flower bed, which took me the longest amount of time. And as I was pulling weeds, there were tons of ants just like coming flowing out of the ground I was like what in the world is going on so I told Ethan I was like back up I don't want you to get bit he really wanted to continue to help me but the ants were just everywhere thank goodness I had gloves on I was trying to move as quickly as possible I would have to take a break in one area and then go back to it after the ants kind of calmed down but it was so weird like some of the weeds when I would pull them up the ants when they would come up they were carrying like these little almost look like little things of rice but they were yellow I was like I don't even know what that is but it looked so disgusting I'm glad that we finally tackled these flower beds I have been putting it off for quite some time my husband has been doing most of the yard work like cutting the grass and stuff like that but the flower beds we have just been putting off we bought some fresh mulch so we could redo them we just haven't gotten around to it so the first step was definitely removing all of the weeds By no means was it perfect, but oh my gosh, you guys, you can actually see the mulch again. <laughs> so now we're moving to this little bed around the tree. This one wasn't terrible, but there were a lot of little pop-ups everywhere. So I'm quickly going through it. And Ethan the entire time was trying to rush me because I had promised him after we got done doing the flower beds, I would take him up to the park. So of course he was like, mom, are you done? Are you done? And then he was like, let me help you. And I'm like, oh my goodness, boy. So I was trying to work quickly. I got majority of it done, but of course I felt so bad because he really wanted to go to the park. So I was just doing what I could with the time that I had and trying to make sure, you know, I gave my four year old some attention too. I know a lot of us get the mom guilt. I know, especially I do whenever I'm trying to get things done around the house or maybe I'm busy, you know, working. And I just feel bad that whenever they ask to do something, I'm like, hold on, hold on. So if you feel the same way, just know you're not alone. It really is a struggle to try to balance all the things that we want to do in a day and make sure we give each of our children enough of our attention. Just know I'm right there with you. I struggle with the same thing too, with trying to juggle filming, cleaning, editing everything, and then giving all of my kids attention. It's definitely a lot. Us moms are amazing. We are hands down the best multitaskers around, so give yourself a pat on the back. And if no one has told you recently, you are doing an amazing job. currently now in the kids bathroom it wasn't terribly dirty but it definitely needed some attention my oldest daughter Aubrey she's 13 she's the one who typically keeps up with this bathroom so every few days I have her come in here clean it but of course it always needs a mother's touch I asked her to do the toilet but her idea of the toilet is like barely scrubbing the inside and then everything else is like whatever <laughs> so I usually have to come in with the disinfectant wipes and wipe around the bottom of the toilet because hello I have boys and I'm sure if you have a boy you know what I'm talking about the toilet is always disgusting
tried sometimes, but you're making me nervous. Now I've realized that I can't live without you. Thankfully, I did steam the glass in the shower not too long ago, so it really didn't need to be done again. I just had to do all of the regular maintenance things. But if you guys also have glass showers, definitely try your steamer on them. It is so much easier to clean using the steamer. I definitely appreciate you guys leaving me the comment and telling me to give it a try. It has been game changing and it definitely makes shower cleanup a lot faster for me because the kids get gobs of shampoo and conditioner all over that glass. And I don't know why, but it literally just gets so caked on. It's nearly impossible to get off, but the steamer and some spray take it right off. I currently have the Bissell steamer. I absolutely love it. It's so compact, it works great, and the cord is super long. I love the fact that it has such a long cord because you can plug it in and really get to anything in your house. Now it's time to head into the master bedroom. This is an area that is always a mess, you guys. I feel like I cannot keep up with my house. The smaller space has definitely made me feel a lot more anxious and like my house is dirty, especially because we still have bins in here that I want to unpack and figure out what we're gonna do with them. My husband's Pokemon, if you guys been here for a while, you've heard this story, but the bins got destroyed in our move. And so we had we have to replace them. And we did buy new bins. They're sitting downstairs in our um, little extra room area where my husband has his gaming stuff set up. But we have the bins downstairs, which are huge. So they're taking up a bunch of space downstairs. And then over here to the left, I have all those bins plus a box that still needs to be unboxed. I told my husband to do it. It obviously still hasn't been done. So I'm like, okay, I probably need to do this for him. He really wants to transfer all his Pokemon stuff into the bins cause it's bubble wrapped. It's all collectibles. So I'm gonna let him do that. But that box, I'm like, I just need to throw it away. Obviously, whatever is in that box, we're not using it, so we just need to throw it away. <laughs> like, I swear, I've done so much decluttering, but it's like, it's never ending. Every time I turn around, I'm like, oh, here's something else, here's something else. This house is bursting at the seams. I still need to tackle my closet, if you guys saw in the back. It is such a mess in there and we plan on putting all of those big pokemon bins inside of our closet because we literally have nowhere else to put it and i'm just like how are we going to fit it in there our closet is already bursting at the seams so i really do need to figure out an organization system for all of our shoes in there to free up some space and i just i don't know i gotta figure out where we're gonna put everything i'm just so ready to have a bigger space to be honest you know it sounds awful but you know downsizing it just really has been hard for us we're like man it's so tight we have so many things and a lot of the stuff we use so we don't want to get rid of it and it's a struggle i'm like i don't want to just sell and get rid of everything just because we don't have space for it if we use it but also it's giving me so much anxiety having all of these things so to be quite honest I cannot wait until February when we can move out of this rental. And I'm praying, I'm crossing my fingers, I'm just hoping we'll be able to afford a house in this area because I am beyond ready to have my own house again and to buy a bigger house so we can fit all of our things inside of it. I don't know if you guys noticed, but every single time I sprayed the bleach into the toilet in this bathroom and in the kids' bathroom, Yoda comes and he stands right there and he starts sniffing it. For whatever reason, he loves the smell of bleach. 
same thing whenever I bleach his blankets because he has white he has a white blanket and so does Stella inside of their crate. And every time I bleach them, he gets so excited. He comes and like lays right on his blanket. I'm like, that is so funny. He loves the smell of bleach too. So it's not just me. My dog loves the smell too. I just thought it was so funny. In case you guys are wondering about my overalls, which I am completely obsessed with, these are off a of TikTok shop. And if you're not following me on TikTok, you need to be. My handle is Ashley Forbes and then just the number four. I upload tons of videos over there and I got these overalls off a of TikTok shop and they're just the cutest things ever. They're so comfortable. I could literally wear these 24 seven and I'm all about comfort. You guys know I'm either in my leggings or I'm in my sweats, but this is actually something I could wear all day long in the house, feel comfortable and cute. So definitely loving this. I really needed to give my bathtub a good scrubbing. I've already mentioned this in my last video, but this tub has some weird stains on it. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I cannot get them out. I think it's just a really old tub. So I'm going in with my electric scrub brush. This thing is life changing, especially for this bathtub because it's so hard to get in here and clean it. It has like a step up to get in here. So bending over and trying to clean this thing is nearly impossible. So this thing is saving my back. It's so worth the money. If you guys don't have one, you really need to get your hands on one. It's awesome, especially for cleaning the bottom of showers too. But after I get done scrubbing it with the electric scrub brush, I still had some areas that were like red in the corners. I don't know what it is. So I did have to go in a second time and use bleach to help get all those red stains off. But thankfully the bleach took it right off. I'm not sure. I wouldn't think it's rust but maybe it could be rust from like the pipes in the walls, the old water. I have no idea, but the corners of our shower turn red. If you guys know why, let me know down in the comments. comment down below what is your favorite current cleaner what are you obsessed with right now I'm trying to find just some new stuff to use to try out so if you have any suggestions let me know I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah there was a part of me that knew that And still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you I love this handheld little shower sprayer. Not that we use it when we take a shower, but it's awesome for whenever I clean the bathtub to rinse it out or like whenever I shave my legs and you need to rinse the hair down. It just makes it so much easier. So if we ever custom build a house, that is definitely something that I would want to add into my shower. I 
covered Was gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are I guess our dreams fell asleep I hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day weekend. Let me know if you have any plans, what you're doing this weekend. I think we're gonna be heading up to the beach. The weather is supposed to be beautiful. I went to the beach with just Ethan during the school week and my other kids were so upset that I had went up there without them. So I think we're gonna plan a fun family beach day this weekend. Should be a lot of fun. I'd love to know what you guys are doing. Don't you love when you get done cleaning it, cleaning an area and then you realize, oops, I forgot to do something. I almost forgot to wipe down my mirror, which it did need to be wiped down because there were a lot of water spots on here. So quickly wipe that down. And then before we head downstairs, I want to change out my wax melt. This makes the entire upstairs and downstairs entryway smell so good because I guess the scent just kind of like flows right down the stairs and I love it. So anytime people are coming over, I will come and change out this Scentsy. That way it smells really good when they first walk through the door. But now it's time to tackle my disgusting back door. This thing gets so dirty so quickly. So I'm gonna be using my Bissell steamer. I love this thing. I'm gonna go in, spray all this black gunk really good. It helps break it up. I have tried just spray and wiping it, but it takes a lot of paper towels. So this made it a little bit easier to get up and I didn't use as many paper towels. Unfortunately, it was raining outside, so I didn't get to do the other side of the door because when you open the door, the bottom part is also dirty. But I was like, oh, the weather's kind of gross outside. I'll have to tackle that another day. I decided to go in with my yellow Windex because this does a great job at keeping stainless steel super shiny. So I'm just going in, disinfecting and wiping it down really well so it looks nice and shiny and clean. It's a new day, but another load of laundry. I swear I do so much laundry, even though I'm always behind. <laughs> so we're going to get some laundry folded. I had to switch over my rug. The kids were running around and playing the night before and they got dog poop all over the back rug. So I had to wash that thing.
My husband had made me a bet that I cannot get to 20,000 followers on Instagram or TikTok within 30 days. And if I did, he would do the laundry for an entire month. So if you guys don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram yet, make sure you go over there. Give me a follow. I am determined to hit 20,000 followers on one or the other app by June 23rd, I believe it is, when I have to hit it. So help me get to that goal so I can make him do the laundry for an entire month. quickly going to put away all the laundry that I folded and then we are going to be tackling this kitchen. As you can see, it is a hot mess. I was not able to do the dishes the night before. Our dishwasher was starting to act up a little bit. I didn't know what was going on with it, but we are going to be trying to repair that here in just a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about, but I first need to clear away my catch-all area. I swear this thing is always so full of clutter. I needed to also unbox my magic mind. I still get this stuff in. I love these morning health shots. If you guys haven't tried them out, definitely recommend. No, this is not paid for, but I really do love their product and feel a huge difference whenever I take their health shots. They give you energy and are packed with so many amazing ingredients. Anyone else's kids obsessed with slime? That's a slime kit I'm picking up right now. My kids are obsessed. This is something that both Adrian and Austin have. They're like the hugest slime kit ever. It comes with little beads and stuff to change the colors. The kids love playing with it, but Ethan is awful about getting it into his clothes. Half the time I'm like, I'm just gonna throw this away because majority of his clothes have slime stains on them now. I'm like, how do you manage to get so much slime on your clothes? Thankfully, if you wash it a couple times, it does come out majority of the time, but it's still so frustrating. I'm oftentimes having to rewash a lot of things that go into this dishwasher. It's definitely not my favorite dishwasher. I'm not sure what the brand of it is, but whatever it is, I definitely wouldn't recommend it because my dishes hardly fit in here and it does not wash very well. Washer, but it's getting stuck like you literally have to put all your body weight to 
open it up. It's so hard. I'm thinking it needs to be greased. So I got my WD-40. I'm gonna squirt it and cross my fingers that this fixes it because I do not want to have to contact our property manager. So let's see if this works. What? He didn't do anything wrong involving Mr. Sandy and then we're breaking into his safe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we would carry on and We'd do anything for what we started But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight, this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound Looks like something on the top of the dishwasher is like dropping down and then it's like pushing it back up. I don't know. I'm gonna let my husband look at it. The WD-40 did not really do anything, so it's definitely not a greasing problem. I think something is like shifting up the top and making it get stuck. I'm happy to report back that the dishwasher is fixed. It now opens and closes super easily. Hallelujah. I don't know what that little flap thing was, but after I loaded the dishwasher, ran it again, when we opened it, it all of a sudden wasn't stuck anymore. So I'm not sure if it was the greasing or maybe something just came loose. And then once I ran it again, it like pushed it back into place. I have no idea, but either way, it's working properly again. And so I'm very thankful because I did not want to have to contact our property manager. I can't remember if I told you guys this, but we randomly had the front glass door shatter on us. My husband was doing lawn work. He got down weed eating and then he was blowing the like sidewalk and the patio. He was blowing it. He wasn't even near the front door. All of a sudden, our front door shattered into a bajillion pieces. It sounded so loud. I like ran outside. I opened the door and I was like, holy crap, what just happened? My husband's like, I have no idea. Like, we're thinking possibly a little pebble whenever he was weed eating hit it and it just took like 30 minutes for it to all of a sudden shatter. We have no idea, but we ended up reporting it to our property manager thinking that our insurance that we have, we pay for homeowners insurance or renters insurance through our rental property. So we were like, oh, for sure it should be covered or like maybe there's like a deductible or whatever. So we report it, they come replace it. They don't tell us anything. We're thinking like, oh, okay, it's covered. They send us a bill for $650. I was like, what? Like, why didn't you tell us this? If we knew you were gonna bill us, we would have replaced the door ourselves. We could have got a brand new door for $300. But instead, now we're paying double the cost. I was so infuriated, you guys. I could not believe they did that and they had the audacity to not even tell us. Like, they're just gonna send us a bill. So after that experience, I'm like, for one, I'm not reporting anything unless it's like dire. And for two, this is why I don't want to rent anymore. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Like you should be able to be open and like, tell me what's going on. Like, oh, hey, by the way, if we do this, it's going to cost you more or you can replace it yourself. Like, I just don't understand why they couldn't have been transparent with us. It just, it makes me so mad. And it's just one more reason why I am so ready to have our own house again. But all that to say, I did not want to report the dishwasher because I did not want another incident like that to happen. I love my Dawn Power Wash so much. Definitely my favorite to clean the sink out with because it gets so bubbly and it cleans so good, especially any stuck on grime. This stuff will take it right off. Definitely recommend for hard stuck on grime on your dishes and for cleaning your sink because it does a great job, leaves it shiny and smells good. Started. But this time we could break I'm running dry, everything's the same We'll try tonight, but this time we're not safe and sound Not safe and sound What if I'm no good? Now it's
it's time to tackle my microwave. It looked so disgusting in here. My kids had warmed up pizza the night before and somehow managed to get cheese all over the microwave. So we're going to pull this out. I'm gonna spray it with my Dawn Power Wash to help get the cheese off of it and wipe this microwave down. Y'all know cheese is the worst to try to get off when it is hardened and stuck onto a dish, but I'm telling y'all, the Dawn Power Wash takes it right off. This is like a little magic eraser in a bottle. It just takes everything off. The stainless steel is looking nice and shiny and clean thanks to my yellow Windex, but of course, like always, I finished cleaning the kitchen and then I realized, crap, I forgot what I wanted to do. Whenever I picked up the toaster earlier, I realized that the drawer was full of crumbs, so I really wanted to pull everything out, vacuum out this drawer, so before I can call it done in the kitchen, I need to clean this drawer out. Now it's time to head over to my dining room area and my husband's game room area. This is the one space in my house that gives me the most anxiety. I mean, just look at this area. It's just so full of stuff. We have stuff everywhere. It really stresses me out. And of course my table was full of clutter, so that was not helping. So we're gonna get this cleared away. We're gonna wipe down the table. And then I'm finally gonna move my husband's old gaming chair into the garage, as well as this little brown stand. I've been trying to sell the brown stand basically since we moved here. I have not had any luck. I think I dropped it down to like $40 and that is a really nice stand. We got it from Rooms To Go. And I'm just mind blown that no one has wanted to buy it yet, but as of right now, I'm just gonna stick it in the garage and my husband's been using my new recliner as his gaming chair. So we're gonna put his old gaming chair in the garage as well, just to kind of free up some space in here so I don't feel so anxious staring at all this clutter. But we are coming to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. I do upload new cleaning motivation every single Sunday and sometimes throw in bonus videos and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.